In this video will compare electrostatic attractions, van der Waals forces, hydrogen bonding, and hydrophobic forces in terms of how and when they form and the role they play in cell biology. Electrostatic attractions are the interaction between oppositely charged molecules or atoms that cause them to move towards each other. There are two types of van der Waals forces, London dispersion and dipole dipole. London dispersion forces are caused by the constant random motion of electrons and atoms that cause instantaneous dipoles. Dipole-dipole forces are caused when the slightly negative end of one molecule is attracted to the slightly positive end of another molecule. Individually, van der Waals forces are weak, but they comprise a considerable force when combined and account for many processes within the cell, such as enzyme substrate bonding and protein structure stabilization. Hydrogen bonding is the strongest of the intermolecular forces and occurs only in molecules that contain chlorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Hydrogen bonding. hydrogen bonding occurs because a hydrogen polar covalent molecule possesses a slightly positive change, which is attracted to the slightly negative charges of the more electronic, electronegative atoms of another molecule. As with another molecular force, individual hydrogen bonds are weak, but when combined are responsible for, for holding together complementary DNA strands and for helping nucleic acids and proteins form and maintain their specific shapes. Hydrophobic forces are present when water-fearing molecules are exposed to water molecules. The hydrophobic molecules respond to aqueous environments by aggregating in order to decrease the surface area that is exposed to the water molecules. Hydrophobic forces play a structural role in protein formation and are also responsible for the formation of the phospholipid membrane of cells. Phospholipids orient themselves tail to tail, which are hydrophobic, in order to make sure that the hydrophilic ends are the only ones that are facing the water molecules.